bunch of claims. So tonight, consumer investigator Jason Knowles checks with some people who say they're still waiting for their benefits. Some people are still trying to get benefits. Others are struggling because of badly delayed payments. The I-Team is tracking all of the troubles at the Illinois Department of Employment Security. I really need a bed. I just had a baby, a newborn in March. Tamia Wells says six months later, she's still waiting on her benefits from the Illinois Department of Employment Security. I still have to pay bills and then I still have two children and I still have to feed them, feed me, clothe us. The Humble Park mother says she was laid off from a cleaning company. She was initially denied regular benefits through IDES. Then in May, she was approved for benefits through the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program for contracted workers. How much money have you gotten from unemployment? None. Not a penny. Nothing? Nope. Wells showed us at least 20 entries of money not going into her account marked as pending issues. Pending issues, pending issues. Pending. That's what I faxed over, yes. She also says she can't get the problem solved online. She also says she's called. And you finally got someone to call you back, but they couldn't figure it out? No, the only thing that was told to me were that they were as confused as I were and that it would be given over to a different department for them to contact me. Bronzeville resident Ricardo Johnson says he's waiting on thousands of dollars, some from back pay in the spring, and now a new problem. Every time I try to verify, the screen will freeze up or try to send me to a link or send me to print the page of the error. The laid off server says he's in the state's callback queue, waiting to talk to an agent on the phone. I have to pay bills, I have to get toiletries. I am very young. I am 20 years old to be in fact, and I have my own apartment that I've been renting since December. The I-Team continues to get dozens of similar complaints. Others say they can't get callbacks to address concerns, including letters which state they were overpaid and owe the state. Since the influx of requests in March, IDES has made major tech improvements to its website and over the summer added hundreds of virtual agents. IDES tells me it now has a total of 651 telephone agents, which also includes contracted workers from a private company. It says that those agents have made nearly 580,000 callbacks since launching a callback system in July. As far as payouts go, the state says that since March, it's distributed nearly $16 billion. One, two, three. IDES says it can't comment on specific claims but Wells is hoping that her situation is resolved quickly and that she gets unemployment back pay, which could include extra federal money she missed out on. They just keep telling me to keep certified, keep certified, keep certified. Eventually it will go into your account. If you're having continued problems trying to get answers from unemployment, you may want to try to reach out to your local state lawmakers. You can try your state representative or state senator. They may be able to cut through some of that red tape. Jason Knowles, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Jason, thanks so much for that. Uh, we're in for a very beautiful start to the fall of this week. Meteor